Hello students. So today we are going to discuss about social studies two mark question and answers, the short answers from all the chapters. So starting from history, the advent of Europeans to India. So in this chapter, explain how the Martanda Verma checked the Dutch. After Rama Verma, the great king of Vyanad, Raja Martanda Verma came to the throne. He occupied the pepper growing areas from the Dutch. In this time, Dutch tried to defeat Martanda Verma, but Dutch were defeated by him. He controlled the surrounding areas of Dutch and made them to oppose. The Dutch suffered by huge losses from Martanda Verma. He established the rights of pepper in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Explain the Second Carnatic War. Carnatic War II started on 1749 to 1754. An officer named Bussi led French military force against the British. In Carnatic, Chanda Sahib was, he became the Nawab by the help of French. Robert Clive of English East India Company attacked Arcot, the capital city of Carnatic. Chanda Sahib defeated from English and imprisoned. The English named Muhammad Ali, the son of Anwaruddin, as the Nawab of Carnatic. The Second Carnatic War ended with the Treaty of Pondicherry in 1754. Explain the Battle of Vandivash or Third Carnatic War. Comet de Lay of French attempted to besize Van de Vosch in 1760. In this de decisive battle, Sir Irie Couty of the English army defeated the French. Bussy was imprisoned. Lally escaped and hides in Pondicherry. Finally, Lally surrendered to English. French had to lose all base in India due to Carnatic Wars. The Third Carnatic War ended with the Treaty of Paris in 1763. What were the results of Battle of Buxar? The Battle of Buxar had helped the British to get many benefits substantiate. What were the outcome of the Battle of Buxar? Secured Diwani rights got all rights over Bengal, got 50 lakhs from Nawab as war expenditure, took over the entire administration of Bengal, secured right of revenue collection through dual government. In the next chapter, India after independence. What are the problems faced by India after independence? Rehabilitation of refugees, communal riots, formation of government, Integration of various provinces, production of food, development of agriculture, growth of industries, etc. Describe the manner in which, in which Pondicherry was liberated from the French. The French had continued their hold on southeast and west, western parts of India, like Pondicherry, Karikal, Mahe, and Chandranagar. Many political parties wanted them to become part of India. By the struggle, by them, all these parts got integrated in 1954. Pondicherry was declared as a union territory in 1963. How was Goa liberated from Portuguese? Goa, which was under the imperialist rule of Portuguese, Portuguese brought more army from Africa and Europe for consolidate their power over Goa. But Satyagraha is from all over India entered Goa in 1955. The Indian military forces entered Goa and took over its administration. Explain or describe the process of state reorganization based on language linguistic organization of states. Both the British government and regional governments never ruled them using local language. In this background, formation of states based on languages was desired. After death of Poti Sri Ramulu, the demand for language-based state recognition went up. 
In 1953, Reorganization of State Commission was formed under the chairmanship of Fazal Ali and members K. M. Panikar and H. N. Kunjru. The next political science: India's relationship with other countries. Explain the national interest of India to maintain good international relationship with other countries. Border security, economic gains. foreign trade and reputation of the country which are the major neighbor countries of india pakistan afghanistan china nepal bhutan myanmar bangladesh sri lanka maldives so pakistan and afghanistan in the northwest of india china nepal northeast of india bhutan east of india myanmar and bangladesh southeast of india sri lanka and maldives south of india what were the reasons for tension between india and pakistan the terrorism jammu kashmir issue water share disputes border disputes the relation between india and china is recently spoiled why a war broken between india and china in 1962 the escalation of tibetan crisis the border disputes world challenge and india's role mention the main problems faced after second world war denial of human rights race of armaments the economic inequality and terrorism mention the major features of the race of the armaments armament race seems to be most dangerous symptom of the present day world it leads to evil system on anti human being create global level fear insecurity tension create the war arm race will lead to world destruction how it's always loss of peaceful atmosphere in the globe loss of human and animal life destruction of public property it's creating enmity among the nations etc explain the main or significant features of the terrorism it is causing of heavy damages on the society it creates heavy psychological impact it creates negative impact on civilized society and governments what are the measures taken to curb terrorism in india appointed of trained anti terrorist forces for the restrain terrorist activity selected eminent defense office defense force officers india is peace loving nation so it always against the terrorism in the sociology part the chapter social stratification the prejudice created by discrimination lead to development of feelings how impatience contempt disrespect hatred untouchability is a social evil how the practice of untouchability has its beginning in varna system a group of this people stayed out outside the villages as per gandhi untouchability is a hinus expression of caste system this is a leprosy attached to hindu skin prohibited entry to the temples ban of entry to the barber shops in villages prohibited to take the well lake tap bow water in the society prohibited the education facilities in the school explain the legal provisions brought to eradicate untouchability in india or which are the legal measures to eradicate untouchability the article 17 of the constitution untouchability crime act 1955 civil rights protection act 1976 universal rights to vote and participate in election reservation in education and employment untouchability atrocity act 1989 articles 15 16 17 38 and 39 articles 16 bar 4 3 320 3 4 330 332 articles 25 and 29 the collective behavior and protests chapter define the meaning of riots 
list out the causes of it violent and destructive nature of mob behavior is called riot provoking circumstances individuals uncontrolled behavior uncivilized behavior criminal intent of people writers mi- mindset explain the importance of women's self help groups it's very important in empowering the women socially these groups empower the women financially too the government of india is also encouraging women to participate actively in these group it's also help them in social and economic development it's it helps the women to face the atrocity heaped on them effectively it's operate keeping in mind women's democratic rights it's it provides women opportunities to participate in all developmental programs in the geography section india geographical position and physical features which are the physical features of india the northern mountains the northern greater plain the peninsula plateau the coastal plains which are the major passes of the greater himalaya or himadri the burzil the lozila the shipkila name the parallel ranges in the lesser himalayas the pir panjal the dauladar the naga tiba the masuri the mahabharat the darjeeling note the hill stations of the lesser himalayas shimla masuri darjeeling ranikhet nainital state or right what are the importance or advantages or uses or benefits of the northern mountains of india it prevent foreign invasion it prevents the cold winds from central asia it will be receiving heavy rainfall it had a stored house of mineral it had birth place of many rivers to generate hydroelectric power state or right what are the importance or advantages or uses or benefits of the northern great plain of india it is very suitable for irrigation and agriculture it had vast fertile alluvial soil it had been supporting to a transportation and communication it is useful for industrialization urbanization and trade it had number of pilgrim centers what are the difference between western ghats and eastern ghats the western ghats its continuous range running parallel to the west coast of india eastern ghats it's running almost parallel to the east coast of india well the western ghats it's very steep on the western side and smooth on the eastern side eastern ghats it's extending from the mahanadi valley to nilgiri hills in the south the western ghats the annamudi is the highest peak in it in eastern ghats the amarakonda is the highest peak in it state or right what are the importance or advantages or uses or benefits of the deccan plateau of india it has rich minerals thick forest and biodiversity it is covered by black soil it's giving birth to many rivers it's very useful to generation of hydroelectricity it has famous hill stations what are the importance of the coastal plains it's helpful to carry on foreign trade it's useful for fishing ship building agriculture production of salt it's attracting to the tourist who visit it's useful for navigation india seasons indian agriculture is gambling with the monsoon winds discuss the southwest monsoons control the agriculture of india failure of rainfall leads to drought when the monsoons are heavy there are floods they also cause to destruction to life and property which factors influence the climate of india latitudes and longitudes water bodies mountain ranges monsoon winds ocean currents what are which are the important climatic seasons of india the winter season december to february the summer season march to may the rainy season june to mid september the retreating monsoon season november october to november name the conventional rain occurs locally in india andhis uttar pradesh 
काला भाईसाकी वेस्ट बंगाल मैंगो शावर्स केरला कॉफी ब्लॉसम कर्नाटक इकोनॉमिक्स मेंशन द टाइप्स ऑफ बजट सरप्लस बजट डिफिसिट बजट बैलेंस्ड बजट वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ पब्लिक एक्सपेंडिचर रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर लिस्ट आउट द टाइप्स ऑफ प्लान एक्सपेंडिचर फिनेंशियल सर्विस सोशल सर्विसेस जनरल सर्विसेस नेम द मेन टाइप्स ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस पर्सनल इनकम टैक्स कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स वेल्थ टैक्स स्टैम्प ड्यूटी मैंशन द मेन फॉर्म्स ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस जनरल एक्साइज ड्यूटी import and export taxes service tax foreign travel tax which are the main types features or objectives of non tax revenue or explain the aspect of non tax revenue of the central government the net profit earned by the rbi the net profit generated by the indian railways the revenue generated by the departments of post and telecommunications the revenue generated by the public sector industries the revenue generated by the coins and mints various types of fees and penalties etc coming to the business study part consumer education and protection name the four basic rights of the consumers in the view of john f kennedy of america the right to safety the right to choose the right to information the right to heard what are the main aims or objectives or importance or significance of consumer movement the act accords importance for safety and quality avoiding production and sale of dangerous goods prevention of trade malpractice in the market supervision on quality weights measures and price compensating the consumers in case of any problem arising as a result of trade creating awareness to the consumers through consumer education name name the mention or mention the acts which promotes the rights to consumers the right to protect against the marketing of goods the right to information right to choice right to heard right to seek redressal against the unfair trade practices right to consumer education right to stop exploitation right to healthy environment what are the methods to follow to file a complaint in consumer court there is no prescribed performer to file a case the complaint may be typed one or handwritten two the complaint should include the name of the person the person or organization against whom the complaint is made should be mentioned clearly with address the particulars of the good by which the loss has in, incurred and the amount of loss should be specified clearly the bill or receipt should be enclosed there is no fee or stamp duty for the complaint no advocate or lawyer is required the consumer himself or herself can argue which are the redressal agencies existed for the removing of consumer dispute district forum state commission national commission